welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome i am lisa and in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys my top um favorite dry shampoos i don't know why i struggle to put those words in a sentence but i have oily um hair so and i know it's not good to wash it i also have my hair colored i always have my hair colored so it's even worse to wash it when you have color in your hair because it either fades quick, um, depending if you have like um, a burgundy or a fun color, stuff like that. And I have highlights, so I don't want to wash it as much to dry it out. So I live for dry shampoo. I love dry shampoo. I actually didn't start getting into dry shampoo until I think I started working at the salon um, a few years back. So I used to work. I went to cosmetology school. For those who don't know, I went to Empire Beauty School. Um, in my area and then I got a job a salon job and I was introduced to dry shampoo and ever since then I Love dry shampoo. I live for dry shampoo I wish a dry shampoo company would sponsor me because I literally cannot live without a dry shampoo But enough of that word. Let's jump right into the video Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe comment share whatever um and if you want to know about the best dry shampoos out there in the market then just keep on watching <laughs> So my all-time favorite, which was the very first one that I was introduced to um, by one of my co-workers, shout out to Amanda and Emily, especially Amanda because she used to bathe herself in this. And the reason I fell in love with it mainly was for the smell of it and um, the quality of it. This company, this brand actually makes really, really good hair um, product quality. So, and it's, I think it's pretty affordable. But my favorite, favorite one is Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. This is what it looks like. This stuff smells heavenly. Like if they could make a perfume of this scent, I think I would literally bathe myself in it every day. But this is my all-time favorite for many reasons, not just for the smell. Again, like I said, it's super affordable. And it's, um, I honestly am not really sure if you could get this at any drugstore. I think you can get it at Sephora. I used to get it at, well, I still get it at the uh, licensed cosmetology stores, Cosmoprobe or Salon Centrics. So this one is 5.3 um, ounces. It's pretty big, honestly, and it retails on Amika's website, which I have pulled up for $25. I am not fully sure how much it is at like the Salon Centrics and the Cosmoprobe, but it should be a little less than that. Again, I believe you can also get this at Sephora. So it, it, it also, <laughs> what? So it also retails for $25 on Sephora's website. They do sell smaller uh, versions of it, so it's obviously cheaper than the smaller one. But I just keep this one, and I, I'm going to read a little bit of what it says. Discover the wonders of the waterless wash. This talc-free style reviver removes excess oil, buildup, and odor, leaving hair instantly clean and refresh. And refresh fans do residue. Residue. Use the shake well. Um, it's cruelty free and the can is recyclable. The packaging also is super cute. I mean, so I also have their dry conditioner. Again, this packaging is super, super cute. I love Amika. It also smells super good. I think I really like Amika because of the smell, but I've also used their Shine Balm, I believe it's called. I'm not sure. I ran out of it, but I love Amika's products and they're super affordable. So this doesn't leave as much of that white residue powder thing. Um, mo I guess mainly because it's talc free. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray some. And you could kind of see that I don't really have any of that white stuff. I'm gonna show you another one and that tends to leave a lot of the talc. Um, so this one, like I said, you can't, I don't, it's not a lot. So. I really like this one again i love the smell of it so this one is super good it it absorbs um a lot of your oil again i have super oily hair and it leaves my hair honestly looking so refreshed and so nice if my ends tend to look a little bit dry because i do bleach my hair i'll go ahead and use the dry conditioner but this would be for another video um another favorite of mine that i actually got in the mail shout out to influencer influencer is an app where you do reviews, you can get free products. The more reviews you do, the more active you're on there. So again, I love dry shampoo. So I went ahead and 
reviewed a dry shampoo for my profile for other people to go ahead and look at if they were um, wanting to purchase the product and influencer was so nice to send me a package of dry shampoo okay so the second product that i really love and it came in my influencer package is this one by matrix which is the total results miracle extender dry shampoo this one is 3.4 fluid ounces and when i was searching for this online they actually don't really have it on the matrix website it takes you to three links which is beauty brands jc penny salon and ulta it's no longer available at Ulta and when I went to JCPenney, it says it's out of stock and it retails for $17. I, the smell is okay, it doesn't compare to Amika's, but it's right around there. I also really like about this that it doesn't leave a lot of that um, white residue slash some of the talc. So I'm just going to read off a little bit again and this says Miracle Extender Dry Shampoo refreshes hair and absorbs oil to revive your second day look to use hold eight to ten inches from head to refresh spray in short bursts and then brush it out clean not so frequently whatever whatever so this is the packaging it's cute i love pink so i really like this i'm gonna go ahead and spray some as well as you can see i don't even have more of the um amica so i'm gonna go ahead and spray this down the middle actually um, it smells more like a hairspray, to be honest, um, than a dry shampoo. And as you could even tell, like it doesn't leave any of the residue either. I'm trying not to do it with your eyes open. <laughs> I'm just not feeling my eyes. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Again, none of that white stuff. It smells actually really good. It smells more like hairspray. Like the essence hairspray, I guess. But yeah. That is it. So um, I'm going in order, I guess you can say. So this would be like my second favorite. Wow, look at my hair. So it would be this one and then this one. I believe they sell this in a bigger version as well. When I looked on the website, it did say that there was a 5.1 ounce one. Um, so I hope they sell this in a mini version because this would actually be good when you're like out in a club or something it really does the job good it doesn't leave any of that residue which i freaking love because i hate having to sit there and go like this to my hair which i've done in the past and people look at me like i'm weird and people probably think i have like lice or something so i would re really recommend this one again thank you so much to influencer for sending me this another one that i really like but i don't have on me because i haven't repurchased it is one from monet i honestly forgot the name of it but they only have one dry shampoo so the dry shampoo from monet is my favorite one as well that one actually does leave somewhat of the talc slash white residue on your hair so i would be super careful with that one that one is also more on the pricier side than any of these it might be on the price side of one of these that i'll show you guys up next but monet's uh dry shampoo is definitely really good but and i don't know the answers again i don't have it on me i did used to have it when i sold monet monet but again i haven't repurchased it but i definitely recommend it if you are willing to spend the money i don't know why i talk in like pauses <laughs> and another favorite of mine which I like because of the smell. I think the smell really is the main reason for the dry shampoos. You want one that smells good because you want the purpose of a dry shampoo is to refresh your hair and to make it seem like you wash your hair. So it smells good. It looks good and it styles your hair good. So I really like this one for the smell of it, but I'm not a big fan of the price. I'm not a big fan of the amount that you get for the price. Honestly, when I bought this, I thought I made a mistake and I thought I bought the travel size. That's how little this thing is to me compared to my other ones. But um, it is from Dry Bar and it's the Detox Dry Shampoo. This is 3.5 um, ounces and it says super absorbent formula eliminates oils and impurities, leaving hair looking and feeling clean and ref refreshed with extra volume and a matte finish this does leave a lot of the white residue i got this from ulta you can get it at dry bar as well it sells for about 30 dollars i believe Go ahead and spray some of this on my hair so you could see it as well um see how i don't like that none of the other ones do that for me so with this you really have to get in there and make sure to 
make sure to brush it into your hair but i hate that because like i said i don't and then it tends to leave it on your hand your hand either gets really dry or has that white stuff so that's the only reason i don't like this dry shampoo is because it leaves that white residue and i hate doing this when i used to put dry shampoo at school i remember i was in class and i would spray this and i would just be like this for a, a while and people would just look at me and like these people are really gonna think I have like lice or something or I have an itch in my hair but I'm really just diminishing the dry shampoo I don't really know if you guys could tell on my hands but they're kind of dry now but it's good I like it the smell is really good my hair is obviously it really does give you that matte um clean look but again I don't really like the residue of it I'm not sure if it says it doesn't say that it's talc free like the other ones have this also is cruelty free and the bottle is recyclable for those the packaging is super sleek super nice and cute i mean dry bar is an expensive brand overall but they're really good so that would be my fourth favorite one and then last but not least um this one is all right i mean i haven't tried it as much to be honest because i have these other ones especially these these are my top favorite honestly i i think i repurchased this like four times um, influencer sent me this so i'm super happy that i got it in the mail but i really really love this and then this one i haven't tried as much just because i have my other go-to ones my amica and the matrix and i used to have the monet but this one is really good i would feel like if <laughs> all of these were out of stock for some weird reason then i would definitely purchase this one because Again, it doesn't leave residue. This it doesn't really have a smell to it, which kind of like throws me off because it doesn't really feel like a dry shampoo. Um, it feels more like a hairspray, but it is from Pureology and it's the Refresh and Go Dry Shampoo for color treated hair. And it says, "Don't let a bad hair day get in the way now. Refresh your hair from root to scalp for that lightweight, clean feeling." This formula with rice starch and our exclusive anti-fade complex help absorb oil and protect color treated hair this is 3.4 ounces and this i know you can get at ulta this retails for about 28 dollars at ulta and again i'm gonna go ahead and spray some so you guys could see i'll spray some like about right there so you see how i don't really have that white residue it's very like sheer it's not as intense as um the the dry bar but so you can get away with just honestly brushing a little bit typically how you would do and again it doesn't have a big smell to it like these other ones it doesn't have like that refreshing smell to it but it has a little bit of it has like a very light um scent just like it has that sheer um white residue so it does the job it's fine i'm gonna spray some all over my hair so if you're not a big if you're very sensitive to smell and or you don't really care about the dry shampoo having a scent to it then i would really recommend this one and again you don't really have to deal with a lot of the white residue on it they also sent me with my dry shampoos they did send this one um, by redkin which is a dry shampoo paste and let me tell you, I am not a fan of this. This is a no-go for me. So it feels really weird. First of all, it feels, I don't know, it just feels weird. And then it just feels so weird on my hair as well. It makes my hair feel super dry. And I mean, it doesn't leave that white residue, but I'm not a fan of it. I don't like it. Honestly, I haven't even like really touched it. Um, it's just weird to me that a dry shampoo is in a paste. So I obviously go to my sprays. But overall, these are my top favorite dry shampoos. Influencer did send me some of these, but I have purchased two of these in the past before. But overall, these are my favorite, my top dry shampoos that I've been using for a while now. Again, especially Amika. I've been using this for about four years now. I've repurchased it several times, like I mentioned. I really like it. I will definitely be repurchasing Matrix as soon as it comes back in stock. I'm not really sure about um, Dry Bar. I guess if I have no option, then I would. I probably would honestly get the Pureology. I would honestly get the Pureology before I get this because again, the white residue is more sheer 
Uh, it's more inexpensive as well than this one. So these are my top dry shampoos. If you have a dry shampoo that you really love, I would definitely love to try it out. Leave it in the comments below. Again, I have oily hair, um, so I tend to use a lot of dry shampoo because my roots literally, I could shower today and tomorrow my hair is already super oily. Um, so if you have dry scalp, I would look into getting dry conditioner. But if you do have oily scalp, then definitely check out one of these dry shampoos. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time that I post. I'm in quarantine, so literally I will be posting so much now. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.